In this video, I'll be explaining about the business models in Talon. We'll look at one of the example and we'll see how to create a new model. And we'll also discuss where exactly this is being used. Uh, how is it going to benefit uh, your retail projects? Right. And uh, we will we will look at uh, various components available in uh, business models because this could be one of your uh, question in uh, talent certification. So I thought I'll make this quick video uh, so that you get uh, benefited out of here. So let's get started. Once you log into the talent studio, uh, the very first option you see here is uh, the business models. Right, you can just do a right click and then create a new model and this is as simple as uh, creating any uh, job. I have already created one so let's uh, open up and uh, see what are different you know components available. So here is one example I have already put together uh, to save some time. On the right hand side you will see the palette right so these are some of the um, you know flow tasks that you can use in your uh, flow. So this can be used by uh, either the project stakeholder or the lead if uh, the brand new project is going to start. So they will be explaining about uh, what is my source system and what are different uh, you know, files that we are getting if you are hitting any other uh, ERP systems or any web API. So they will be um, you know, mentioning all those details in a pictorial form uh, like uh, how you see here. Uh, this is just a non-technical view of a business need. right? Um, so if you are starting up a, a fresh project and most likely you will be getting um, a certain business model. But in some cases, um, you know, people choose uh, going with a word document or other uh, way of you know, doing it. So that is different. But uh, yeah, if you, if you are completely on 100% uh, talent project, so this is how it is going to start. Or else if it is already an existing project and uh, if there is nothing like this you know, built uh, in the past, what um, you know project technical team can do is uh, they can probably create these business models and present it to the business saying this is my uh, you know staging area I, we have uh, ods area or a data warehouse right so all these things you can uh, put together uh, in a non technical uh, diagram and uh, give a presentation to the business user so that they will get to know uh, how is my data pulled and uh, where it is staged and how it is you know, available for the reporting. And please note you may have uh, any number of uh, business models for uh, each project. Uh, maybe you can have one consolidated or maybe uh, based on the stages of your uh, data load you can have multiple or it could be uh, it could be even um, you know specific to a particular job as well. Right wherever you see significant uh, you know transformations or uh, you know uh, all the integrations are happening uh, you can make use of uh, the business models so this will also benefit uh, developers understand the needs of a project and if it is the other way business can easily understand based on uh, how this is in you know, a plot and uh, it could be even helpful for you know tech leads or team leads to uh, perform any review operations right uh, if a particular job is in you know, a developed and um, you don't have to you know explain like what it is doing maybe you can uh, the whoever is reviewing they can look at um, the model and uh, they can review uh, the particular job changes so you can do several uh, combinations here uh, you can make use of any of uh, these tasks uh, component and uh, you can build your own uh, business model and present it